There's an interesting video here. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But it's a Facebook video by a guy called Nicholas Asprey. And he is an American uh, heavyweight fighter who hasn't fought for several years, actually, and primarily is a sparring partner for some more active and well-known heavyweights, such as Tyson Fury. And in this video, Nicholas Asprey is apparently in the wild card gym after having sparred, according to him, Tyson Fury. And he shows these gloves. And look, you can go to his Facebook page and look at the photos on his Facebook page. And there are several photos of him with Tyson Fury. So they definitely know each other. And they've almost certainly sparred. In fact, I think he has some pictures of them sparring. So they've definitely sparred. They definitely know each other. And Nicholas Asprey shows in this video the gloves that he claims Tyson Fury was wearing for their uh, sparring session. And the gloves appear to have completely worn down padding to the point where you can feel your knuckles through the gloves. Now, there's a lot of people in the comments of this video, uh, you know, of his Facebook video, going in on Tyson Fury. And there's also people defending Tyson Fury going in on Nicholas Asprey. Now, the gloves certainly have extremely worn down padding and are not suitable for sparring, particularly heavyweight sparring. But Nicholas Asprey accuses uh, Tyson Fury, you can see here in the description, that he, he pulled the padding out of his gloves. Now, I don't know whether he did that. One thing I do know is these gloves are Everlast Power Lock sparring gloves. And one thing about power locks, you can find lots of information about this in various reviews on the internet. Power locks are notorious for having padding which wears down very quickly. They are absolutely notorious for that. And in fact, that's a quality control issue that Everlast need to sort out with their power lock uh, sparring gloves or training gloves because the, the, the padding wears down way too quick. So I don't necessarily think that Tyson Fury pulled the padding out of his gloves, but it certainly appears that if these are the gloves he used, that uh, you know he should have changed them or got a different pair of gloves rather than be sparring in these. Because not only is it more dangerous for your sparring partners, it's also more, more dangerous for your own hands. So yeah, uh, some people in the comments are making all kinds of uh, accusations and... and talking a load of nonsense, quite frankly. Some people are saying that these are horsehair gloves. These are not horsehair gloves. Power lock do, uh, are not filled with horsehair. Power lock are filled with foam. Yeah, the, the, the foam does break down pretty quick, but it's not horsehair. It's definitely foam. When you first get a pair of power locks, it's, you know, a decent density. So these are either very old or Tyson Fury was absolutely going ham for the past few days in this pair of gloves before sparring. I don't know. Watch the video for yourselves. Let me know what you think. Uh, again, people talking about all this horsehair business are obviously individuals who don't know what they're talking about because they're definitely not horsehair in those gloves. Um, but did Tyson Fury deliberately wear gloves with worn down padding to do more damage in his sparring sessions? Because that's what Nicholas Asprey a, a, a appears to be implying. The Fury has deliberately done this to damage his sparring partners to make up for the fact that he, what, doesn't hit that hard? I don't know. So maybe we'll hear more about this story in the coming days and uh, maybe weeks. I've seen some people say that Tyson Fury posted Instagram pictures in Philadelphia just a few hours before or after uh, Nicholas Asprey posted this video. So there are some people casting aspersions saying, that Fury can't have been in the, in the gym at the same time as this guy. But he's posted other photos of Tyson Fury in the ring with these type of gloves on, power locks that are this particular color. So you guys make your mind up. I will be reaching out to Nicholas Asprey <laughs> to see if he wants to talk further about this issue. Maybe I could do an interview with him. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have a watch of the video for yourselves and... Uh, yeah, let me know how you feel. It's happening, I'm out.